Welcome to my YouTube channel Infotech with Zafar Khan. Today's agenda of this lecture is we will discuss about the Docker, the most popular and high demand tool. The students are also giving the message in my channel that when, when you are uh, starting the Docker and Kubernetes, all those things. So guys, now we have started for Docker and then once it is completed, then we'll start for the Kubernetes. So now uh, we will know in details about the Docker. What is Docker? Why Docker is mostly used in industries? What are the benefits of Docker, etc, etc. And finally, we will install the Docker in Ubuntu machine. And after installation, we will create a Docker file and execute some basic commands like how to check the Docker services, whether it is started or not, how to create images, containers, how to attach the tag to the image and how to push the image into the Docker Hub. So we will know about the Docker Hub as well. And many more, those are the use in uh, Docker. Very important video, you will learn a lot of things. So request you please watch the complete video to get the complete knowledge. And of course, this will help you to create live project and to understand the project when we will launch the project using Docker, right? So let's know about the Docker. So Docker is basically a software platform that allows you to build, test and deploy application quickly. So Docker is a set of platform as a service, platform as a service product that use OS level virtualization to deliver software in packages called container. So remember it it uses the OS level virtual virtualization. Okay, I will discuss about the virtualization as well. The software that host container is called Docker engine. The, a Docker container image is a lightweight. What is lightweight? So basically lightweight means container are low overhead, isolated mechanism for running applications. A Docker container can use one machine share its kernel and virtualize the operating system to run more isolated processes. And that is why the Docker containers are lightweight. It is a standalone executable package of software that includes everything needed to run an application like code, runtime, system tools, system libraries and settings. A Docker is a standalone unit, as I told, an isolated environment of software that uh, packages up code and all its dependencies. So the application runs quickly and reliably from one computing environment to another. So it was first started in 2013. It's the very latest one and is written in a Go language. So Let's discuss about the virtualization. But before virtualization, we need to discuss what was happening earlier before virtualization. Okay. So the application running more than one operating system was possible through a process called dual boot. So when the virtualization was not introduced, then generally the application was running through a process called dual boot. The user partitions the hard drive and install the different operating system on each partition like uh, Windows operating system, Ubuntu, Linux and Mac operating system. So different operating system they installed on each partition so that when the computer is turned on, the user can pick which operating system to boot up. However, those two or three OS cannot be used at the same time. Simultaneously, we cannot use the uh, those operating system, one or two operating system. So you can have to start uh, using one operating system because partitioning for dual boot does not allow both operating system to access the same hardware resources. 
the company who used their IT environment were bound to underuse physical hardware for each operating system. For example, if they are using the uh, Mac operating system, then it, it, had, it has a separate uh, hardware. For Ubuntu, it has a separate hardware. So the company was bound to use the physical hardware for each operating system and as a result organization's hardware investment is too high. So to avoid such situation, virtualization is came into picture. So now virtualization is basically a process that allow for more efficient utilization of physical computer hardware and allows a greater return on an organization's hardware investment. Now, what is virtualization in cloud computing? Virtualization means developing virtual rather than actual, actual version of any server, any uh, things like server, desktop, storage devices, operating systems and network resources. Basically, virtualization is a process that permits you to share a single physical resource or an application among the multiple users in an organization. It facilitates the creation of virtual machine and ensure the smooth functioning of multiple operating system. Virtual machine is virtually based computer that are working under the hypervisor. So here in this figure or in this diagram, this is a hardware. So on the on top of hardware, there is a layer you can say on top of this hardware infrastructure, there is a layer called hypervisor. So hypervisor is a software layer that coordinates virtual machine. It basically coordinates with virtual machine. These are the virtual machine and with different operating system. Okay, so app, all different applications are running on each virtual machine. So this hypervisor serves as an interface between the virtual machine and the underlying physical hardware. Physical hardware means this, this inf inf infrastructure. Okay, and ensuring that each has access to the physical resources it's needed to execute. It also ensures that the virtual machine does not interface with each other by impacting on other uh, memory, memory space. However, there is some disadvantage in virtual machine like uh, compatibility issues. Compatibility means uh, when you are migrating the existing system into the virtual environment can be difficult. It, it will be very difficult due to compatibility issue between the software version uh, used across the different platform. If the software versions are different in different platform, then they, it, will, it will create a compatibility issue. So migrating existing system into virtual machine environment can be difficult. The next disadvantage is performance overhead. So virtualization can introduce performance overhead as it requires additional resources to emulate the underlying hardware. So this overhead is usually minimal but can be significant if it's if uh, the host computer is already running at maximum capacity okay so now hardware limitation there is a hardware limitation also virtualization may have uh, may be the limited by the hardware resources available on the host computer for example if the host machine has limited memory or disk space it can affect the virtual machine performance it can basically it will it can affect the performance on virtual machine the next one is the complexity virtualization can be complex to set up and manage especially when multiple virtual machines are involved so it may also require the additional configuration and maintenance next one is the security risk so virtualization can introduce additional security risks, especially if virtual machines are not properly isolated from each other and from the host machine, 
malicious code running in a virtual machine can compromise other virtual machine and the host machine okay and also the license cost so some software license may not allow installation on virtual machine or required an additional license free uh, additional license fee per virtual machine so so license costing is also increasing so this is also kind of uh, disadvantage of virtualization and then uh, single point of failures if uh, the host computer fails i mean this host computer fail infrastructure is failed then all virtual machine running on the uh, same host will also fail and unless the backup and redundancy machines are in place okay now the containerization is introduced after this virtualization so containerization is a type of virtualization in which all the components of the applications are bundled in a single container image and can be run in isolated use isolated user space on the same shared operating system so this is the basically one of the benefit you can say so containerization is one of the most efficient method of virtualization available in the developers uh, available for developers the so containers improve efficiency in two ways they use all the available resources and they minimize the overhead so that is the important thing they may they minimize the overhead when properly configured containers allow a host to take advantage of virtually all available resources so why do we use the docker containerization there is a question because docker container encapsulate everything an application needed to run and only those things they allow application to be shuttled easily between the environments and the host with the docker running run, run, docker runtime installed be a developer's laptop or a public cloud interface can run a docker container easily so now what is the difference between the containerization and the virtualization virtualization aim to run a multiple operating system on a single server whereas containerization runs a single os instance with multiple user space to isolate processes from one another so this means containerization makes sense for one aws cloud user that plans to run multiple process simultaneously virtualize in virtualization we cannot use the we cannot use the os simultaneously multiple os but here in containerization the user that plans to run multiple processes simultaneously here are the differences between the container and the virtual machine so basically software uh, software code of package uh, containing an application's code uh, its library and other dependency that make up the application running environment while in the virtual machine digital replica of the physical machine digital replica of the physical machine partitions the physical hardware into multiple environments and virtualize uh, container is virtualize uh, via the operating system os level basically so and then the virtualization machine underlying the physical inf infrastructure next difference is a software layer above the operating system uh, required for running the application or application component whereas in the virtual machine operating system all software layer above the multiple application and uh, for container container engine coordinates with the underlying operating system for resources while in the virtual machine hypervisor coordinates with underlying the operating system or hardware it the container is a lightweight as i discussed and uh, virtual machine is much much larger things about the uh, it is term of gigabytes you can say while in the container is in megabytes more flexibility on con container you can uh, quickly migrate between the one premises to the cloud uh, centered environment where whereas in virtual machine 
it's a less flexibility that has very challenging now some benefits are there also in container okay container is uh, caching a cluster of and uh, the other benefits is flexibility container is a very flexibility containerized application uses microservices becomes a flexible that you can host uh, certain elements on bare metals and deploy other to virtual cloud environment there is also called scalability means many container can be placed in a single host and also running your uh, service on hardware that is much cheaper than the standard service fast deployment so also a benefit it is a fast deployment and easy of creating a new interface and faster migration the other benefits is easy of moving the uh, maintaining your application easy of moving and maintaining your application better security less access needed to work with the code running inside the container and fewer software dependencies so these are the benefits basically so here the comparison between the container and the virtual machine here is some important instruction for docker file when we will write a docker file we will use all this instruction okay so from means it sets the base image uh, for uh, subsequent interaction for example if you are using the ubuntu then from ubuntu and latest colon latest so it will download the latest one okay so from it basically it sets the base image so when you uh, create an image so it sets the base image then on, on top of that you can create the other images i will show you here okay then maintainer means who is the basically author to create of this docker file so he can put their name we will use it everything uh, when we will do the project okay and run means it will execute any command when docker image will created cmd is also very similar but the difference is when the docker container will be executed so when the docker container will be executed then cmd command is used and when the docker image will be created then run command is used okay and then entry point it will execute any commands when docker container will be executed label is nothing but it adds the metadata to an image metadata means data of data expose basically it uh, indicate for the ports okay so it info it inform uh, docker that container will listener listen to a specified network port at run time so generally uh, if port 80 is there then we write expose 80 or 80 80 whatever i will show you the env is nothing but it says the environment variable add a, it copies new file directories or remote file urls it also download the url okay and the copy it is a copy a new file or directory so that what is the difference between add and copy both are copy or new file but when you use add it downloads the application while copy is sim just simply copy that one now next is the volume it creates a amount of point with the specified name and mark it as a holding externally mounted volume from native host to other containers so we will attach the volume as well we will show you how to attach the volume user it says the username and uid basically so working directory means uh, where which directory in which directory you are working so basically it sets the working directory right so let's do the practical now and we will install the docker i think i have already installed the docker so this is the terminal uh, mac terminal okay so i have installed the docker let's check with the version of the docker so docker version so yes the latest version is there oh, i'm using uh, 20.10.21 okay 
so this is the basically uh, version showing okay so i have already installed the docker to save our time right so now first what we will do we will create a docker file because we cannot run anything when until unless you have created a docker file so i mean docker file as i told from is used uh, for the base image so we have to uh, create a base image first okay so let's go via vi editor and put the name docker file okay so first we will write from ubuntu you can use the uh, CentOS as well and column latest whatever which operating system you are using so it's up to you okay i am using the ubuntu so i will fetch it from ubuntu and then run command and one more thing you uh, you have to remember it whatever the um, script you are writing it's all should be the capital letter it should not be small one and after that you can write is more like i have written accordingly right so run echo welcome to infotech with I have just simple uh, very uh, doc I have written a very simple docker file okay just wanted to show you all the everything every commands that are running okay without writing the docker file you cannot run it okay so I have created the docker file right so now we will check uh, first we'll check whether docker is running or not so doc system system ctl status docker it's active it's running okay so now docker image let's check docker images how we'll do that docker images so it's a coming blank nothing is there okay we have not created any image okay so first we have to create an image so for this to create an image we have a command called docker image build hyphen t and the image name so put khan image i think hyphen will not take okay so it will not allow khan image docker image build hyphen t or oh, sorry important thing this dot should be required okay to execute this one whenever you are build, building the image so dot is needed now it is running so i think uh, khan image is created successfully tagged okay so we'll check that whether images are there or not to see all images so docker images just see very simple command docker images so now this one has created when we have uh, create our docker file okay but now i have created for this image okay so this image is now created 23 seconds ago and this is the earlier one because it is already there it is it's a download from the ubuntu machine okay i mean docker from docker hub basically okay so the khan image which i have created now 
for Docker image I have created. How to create. Now how to create a container. Okay. So what we will do, there is a command docker container run hyphen td then name put the name of the container so khan container and this container will build from which image khan image right so this image is built so now I mean this container is now built now how to start the container to start the container just docker start container name docker start container name container name is Khan container So it is now started. Khan container is now started. So we will go inside the container. Okay. So how we will go that? There are basically there are two types of commands. So first we will use it docker exec. So docker exec hyphen it and the container name Khan container and we'll put the slash bin slash bash so we have we are now inside the container so this is our container okay here container name is this Six one, so this is our container name, right? So I can go inside the container. Okay. You can also use uh, uh, Docker uh, Docker attached my container. So go out from this container, and you can also go via this way. Docker attached. container means Khan container Khan so in this way you can go also okay so either you can use this command or you can use this command bin bash bin bash is not required when you are using this one so docker attached then container name you can go inside this container okay so now exit from this container so we have now exit uh, from this container and to see all the containers there is a command called docker ps hyphen a it will show all the containers currently i have only one container so that's why if number of containers are available it will show over here so to see all the containers there is a command called docker ps hyphen a and if you want to see only those containers which are running so because of I have only one container that's why this one but what it will show so docker just put ps command docker ps it will show the container which are running so it it will it will show only the container name so I mean currently I have only one container so that's why uh, it is showing the same if number of containers are there then it you for this command it will show only the container which are running okay then uh, docker images okay so I have only one image or Khan image so what I will do I will put a tag this is the important one why because we will use this tag in the project 
upcoming project next video will be the docker project okay so you have to watch very carefully okay so docker basically we will uh, in this image we will uh, tag it okay so how to tag that one so just put the command let me clear the screen docker image tag and then image name image name is khan image and the tag name put the tag name so tag name just keeping with our user id 00zk0034630 and then khan image I have put it the tag okay so docker image is not docker image spelling is wrong docker image tag and then khan image and then keeping the tag over there okay yeah so once the tag is create i mean uh, uh, tag we have attach the tag with the image you can see over here docker images it will show the tag tag one as well docker images so here this is now okay so this is this this is the tag which i have attached with the image okay so now this tag we will push into the docker hub so for this you have you have you must have a docker account docker hub account i have a docker hub account as well i have created the docker hub if you want to if you want to know how to create the docker hub please give a message in the comment section i will prepare a separate video and how to log in that one i prepare a separate video in details so currently the images i have only uh, three so i will push the image which i have created into the docker hub so what we will do to push the tag we'll use docker push then okay but before that you have to log in it okay so in the terminal you have to log in it so what we will do docker login yes so full command you need to provide the docker login then username it will ask zk 0034630 and then password and the rate of yeah so login succeed now okay so let me clear my screen so what we will do we will push this one into docker hub so docker image no, sorry docker push not image docker push then image name so image name we have created that can zero zero three four six zero and then Khan image yeah so it is now post let's check over here whether it is there or not yes so now it is showing over here so we can push the uh, image from terminal to docker hub okay so whatever the images we have created we can push over here so this is all over the uh, dockers about some uh, we have discussed about uh, some important commands uh, we have discussed about how to push the docker into the docker hub, how to push the images into the docker hub and this is a very important one okay so next video will be the project one 
okay so watch this one very carefully and uh, understand all these commands and whatever we have discussed it just know about this because from interview points of view this is also very important okay, and uh, you know docker is very high demand in the market so you need to understand very carefully about the dockers docker hubs and uh, then we'll uh, do the project as well right okay guys thank you thanks for watching if you like this video don't forget to click the subscribe button please